What is up, YouTube? Flush RLC, and we got some Madden 16 Draft Champions, and I don't have the draft because shout out to the Elgato for being absolutely phenomenal and uh, corrupting the file on the draft. But you might notice we got Vincent Jackson and Herman Moore in the same draft, along with Brandon Cooks. I mean, how glitchy is this? Herman Moore and Vincent Jackson, these guys alone are glitches. But these guys side by side, and then you got Brandon Cooks, 95 speed in the slot. That's just unfair. But the downside is this is our quarterback, Christian Ponder. Yep, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Other than that, we really didn't draft anyone very good we got ryan shazier that's about it other than that this draft was complete ass like this was a pretty bad draft when you think about it i'm only a i'm a 70 i'm a generous 79 overall because i got these two beasts on the outside so you know what i mean i drafted these two unbelievably amazing wide receivers so i gotta i gotta play with them man i gotta see how far i can go with them because you know how far the deep ball can get you in Madden. So this is going to be like a bit of an experiment. Okay, how long can we survive on the deep ball? So I hope you guys will enjoy this first game. Uh, so I'll see you there. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we're into the first game. And this is going to be pretty interesting. Because we're pretty much going to be relying solely on the deep ball. Because we really don't have anything else. I mean, we have... James Hanna, who's a 90 speed tight end. We got Theo Riddick, who's an okay silver running back. But we got Vincent Jackson and Herman Moore and Brandon Cooks. But unfortunately, our QB was Christian Ponder. Uh, I didn't get any quarterback options other than Christian Ponder. So what else am I supposed to do? Like, what else do you want me to do? And he has better throw accuracy deep than Castle. So I was like, why the hell not? Uh, so he gets a big play right here. I don't know how Matt... Elam. Maybe it's because he's like five foot nine, but he is, somehow does not get that ball, and he gets a huge gain to the nine yard line. So a good start for him right now on offense. But all we gotta do is just lock this up. He's gonna be hit as he throws. Could have possibly picked that off, but unfortunately we don't. That's gonna bring up a third down and goal again. Dropping back to throw with Cam Newton, but he's gonna find Rolando McLean's gonna get the pick, and that's huge because now we can bring out our monsters, our beasts, out onto the field and see what kind of damage they could do. But unfortunately, because our offensive line is also pretty bad. Blocking does not hold up. Second down and long. We got Vincent Jackson wide open, and it's overthrown. I, to be honest, I don't know what else I was expecting. So third down and 17, we lob it up to Vincent Jackson, and he doesn't come down with this. So fourth down from my own 13-yard line, I'm going to punt the ball. Like There's no reason to go for it. But I noticed that he's going to come out in punt block. There's no one back in coverage. So I'm like... Well, I'm just going to audible to a fake punt pass, and I'm going to fake it. I'm going to go for it. I throw it. Please stay in bounds. I stay in bounds, and I got some room down the field, and I've got nothing but green ahead of me, and I'm going to score a touchdown on a fake punt. What a play, man. That is probably one of the best plays I've ever gotten in Madden. That's pretty damn sick. I got to save that. I got to record that. That was unbelievable. But it's going to be brought back. Somehow, I step out of bounds. What? What? Like, no, no. You cannot tell me I stepped out of bounds. You just, no, no, no. You can't, all right? You could not tell me I stepped out of bounds on that play. That is such BS, EA. They just robbed me of a touchdown. Now I'm going to get this user pegged to give me the ball back. And now I'm mad. Now I'm furious, all right? I ain't like, no offense to my opponent, but I'm going to take out my frustration on him right about now. As long as my offensive line could block for just a little bit, and Christian Ponder could maybe throw an accurate pass. But I'm going to find Brandon Cooks, and who would have thought he'd be the first one scoring a touchdown? 95 speed. Good luck catching him because you're, you're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. So we get the seven points we should have gotten, you know, a couple minutes ago. But instead, EA, I still, like, could someone, like, 
show me some kind of like slowed down version like just can someone show me something that shows me that that was an incomplete pass please link it to me on twitter or just show me something because i will never believe that that was that i was out of bounds i, I i'm sorry but i will never ever 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 believe that i was out of bounds on that play i never will just i need something to prove that i was out of bounds in order for me to ever let this go and now i'm putting the pedal to the metal right now i'm just going full on you know i mean true he's coming out in field goal block which helps but i mean damn and then we get a fumble and we get the ball back so you know what, EA's making up for it a little bit, but I'm like, you know what, I'm still going full throttle. No offense, kid, you didn't do anything wrong, but I, I needed to take my frustration out on you because, seriously, that is, like, I was mad in the sense that that was a amazing play to me. Like, I thought that was a amazing, sick play, and it gets called back for, like, no reason, pretty much. Like, that's probably the most frustrated I've been with this game. Like, you know, just, it was just one of those things, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you got a play like that and then it got called back for, like, no reason, you'd be kind of upset too, wouldn't you? You probably would. Uh, so I have no clue what this kid is doing right now. And I actually had to get on the mic and I had to tell him. I was like, please, like, because I wanted to, I wanted him to make it all the way to the end. And if you can tell by the time of this video, spoiler alert, he doesn't. <laughs> um... I wanted him so bad to stay till the end of the game because I wanted to see that highlight. I wanted to be able to actually like see it because like true, I you can kind of tell if he's at, if he's out of bounds or not. Like if you just like slow down this video, but you got that stupid like cone thing or that it's, it's not a cone. I'm a dumbass. Um, it, that stupid like sphere thing that's around it as we score another touchdown. EA is just not doing this kid well. I see. I. I said that I was playing with some anger after that, and it's it's kind of showing right now. But it's got that stupid, like, circular thing around, so you can't necessarily tell if their foot's out of bounds or not. Like, it came really close, and my experience with Madden is that they do not mess up that play. Like, it's stuff like that the game just doesn't miss. So, I wish that this kid would have stayed in until the end, so I would have been able to actually look at the highlight. But unfortunately, he doesn't. He ends up rage quitting. So, I need the help of you guys. To, to Someone that's watching this video, please do some kind of trickery, some kind of magic to show me that he was out of bounds or not out of bounds. I will never fully get closure until I know for sure. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much the video, guys. Uh, I mean, it in the end, we still won, so I'm not too mad about it. But still, like, I feel like I deserved that to actually count. Because now, it since it doesn't count, it's like, now I can't say it's the best play in Madden hi history. And it's probably not, but it, it, was, it was still just a cool, funny thing that happened. And now I can't say it because it didn't technically count. So I'll see you guys in the next one on Fluttershy. Peace out and have a great day.